Before I start leaking out on Trevor, I want to make certain things clear. Just like Gump on YouTube, figure you bring some new food. Hello people and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, a special welcome to you. I ask that you check out the rest of my videos. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more than anything, I'm asking that you subscribe to the channel. Today I'm gonna cover a news article that I came across, which is coming out of Jamaica, where popular actor, bad boy Trevor, is calling for changes in the Jamaican court system. While happy that his year-long case has finally come to an end, actor and nightclub owner Garfield bad boy Trevor Reed believes that the system implemented by the courts to collect money following a ruling is immensely flawed. On Wednesday, Reed was fined $130,000 or three months in prison for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act, Noise Abatement Act, the State of Emergency Act and Spirit License Act. He said, after you are fined, you have to pay over the monies same time. You are not given any time to get the money and come back and make payment. And you are detained until you pay the fine. Now who I go walk with that? 100,000 odd go court. But before I start leaking out on Trevor, I want to make certain things clear to my viewers and my subscribers. I was introduced to... Garfield Reed, which everybody knows as Bad Boy Trevor in the late 70s. So I probably was about eight or nine years old. And I was introduced to Trevor through my cousins and my aunt in St. Mary, who let me know that we're related. So one of Bad Boy Trevor's parent is cousins to my mother. So in some ways we are related. Um, second cousin, I believe, or third cousin, something like that. But over the years, Trevor and I have always maintained a good friendship. And I'm using this opportunity because I've never really had a reason to publicly say it to him. So I want to say congratulations on your achievement of popularity, achievement of success in the theater business because Trevor been doing this a long time. I remember as a child, he used to drag me from school to school to school. And sometimes he'll just pop up at these schools without invitation, just to tell the principal or the teacher that he would like to perform an act. And there were times that he just asked me to improvise or play a little part or he'll tell me what to do. So Trevor has been acting as long as I've been writing. And I am proud of him and I'm proud to see where he is today, the fame that he has achieved. Because if nobody knows it, I know. He wasn't doing this for fame. He wasn't doing this for money. He does this because he's passionate about it. And for that, I applaud him. And today, if he earned money from it, um, he deserved every cent of it. Anyway, on to today's topic, because like I say, um, I'm about to lick out against bad boy Trevor and the reason why I say that is because There's a saying that my mom used to say I don't film a business until I film a business What that means is it's not my business. It's not my concern until it becomes something that concerns me and that is an attitude that a lot of Jamaicans have and that attitude help keeps Jamaica in this staggered position. Lack of growth, in my opinion. Because people like Trevor, who has a status and an influence in Jamaica, is only concerned about this particular issue in the Jamaican justice system because it recently became an issue to him personally. And I have a problem with that, where Trevor is concerned, and I also have a problem with it where all the other entertainers in Jamaica are concerned. Because there are a lot of things in Jamaica that needs repairing, needs fixing up, needs to operate properly. And if these entertainers and celebrity or people with influences could just take the time out to make it their concern, even though it's not affecting them personally, if they could use their platform and spread the word to say, listen, um, the prison system need 
fixing up. The housing system of the ghetto people need help. The minimum wages need to be adjusted, etc, etc, etc. I understand what Trevor is saying that um, the system is slack. But what I'm saying is last week and last year and the year before and two years ago, the system was slack. But it now becomes an issue that can be publicized in the newspaper because it affects Trevor personally. And he had a problem with it personally. And what I'm saying, it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be uh, a case where it affects you directly before it becomes a problem that you think you should announce and let the politicians and the prime minister become aware of it you know so there are, i'm not going to get into specifics but there are a lot of systems in jamaica that is absolutely slack and celebrities can use their platform and their voices to remedy the situation let's use for example the passport office when when i was in jamaica i passed by halfway through at the passport office and saw the system which just looked like madness you know it, it wasn't a queue system it was just a whole lot of people and, and it's like people were being pushed at the front because of preferences or a little bribe here or a bribe there i don't hear no celebrities talking about that i don't hear no celebrities licking out about that and said listen the passport office need a better numbering system or a better a better seating system when it comes to the speed in where every time you open a newspaper in Jamaica, you know, somebody crashed, somebody was speeding, somebody um, got killed because they were in a car accident. And um, because it doesn't concern the celebrities or their family per se, it just becomes news. As my wife would say to me in England, they would say news today, chip paper tomorrow. Meaning that that's the paper that they would normally serve the fish and chips on in the 70s. And that I don't appreciate. So again, I have nothing but love for Trevor and his career and him as a person. I have nothing but love for him. When I was in Jamaica in 2017, if I didn't visit anybody outside of the the, the scope of my vacation there, I made sure that me and him linked up. So um, I got nothing but love for you, Trevor. But at the same time, I want you to hear what I'm saying. You have an influential power in Jamaica, just like Be The Man, Capleton, Bounty Killer, Sean Paul, Spice, and I could name all of them, Shen Seer, um, Popcorn, sports people like Usain Bolt and Ewan Blake and all the rest of them. You know, they have a platform, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, or in their own private circle. They, they, they have a, an influential um, power that if exercised, it can make a change in Jamaica. It can create a dent in Jamaica. Because recently I did a video that was saying all the Jamaicans have to do in this video is just make a comment to say whether they are for Jamaica as it is or Jamaica becoming a republic and even though I know that YouTube as its manipulation where views are concerned and maybe the amount of people that watches is not what actually reflect um, on my screen I ask that people comment but like I said it's not a big issue that's affecting anyone in Jamaica personally or they don't realize that it's affecting them personally. So votings like that will just fall in deaf ears. Um, don't really business about that. Don't really care about that. That not really going with nothing right now because it's not really gossip and it's not evidently affecting people. They don't really see how a Republic or Jamaica as is would make a change. So topics like those will just go to the wayside. And what I'm saying is I can use that for an example that if celebrities in Jamaica, people with influences, and not only entertaining, you have people who are um, business people in Jamaica that have great influence, whether it be the Chen family who is behind NCB, for example, if these people become a little unselfish and give more love to the country itself, Jamaica itself, and push for changes 
in Jamaica constitution and Jamaica operational system. That way it work smoothly. That way it work, you know, um, in a way to benefit all Jamaicans. Because the problem is when you're a celebrity, for example, you ha you have a known face. So if you go for a passport, for example, you tend to jump before the line. And a lot of Jamaicans are okay with that. If you go downtown to get a, a duty stamp for some documents, you tend to get it like this because of your celebrity ship. But an average Jamaican have to sit there for two, three hours just to get a stamp, which takes a minute. So that is an example that is a great example to use. What I'm saying is um, we have to come out of our celebrity state of mind and offer some of that ease access to our fellow Jamaican. We want to see every Jamaican live comfortable. Um, but do we? Do we really want to see every Jamaican live comfortable or are we happy by being big man and having the little people praising us um that is a question that i would like to know the real answer for so again enough love to trevor but i have to lick out against my own people because i understand it's a cry for help and he needs it because it affected him personally but what i'm saying it shouldn't have to come down to uh, a case of it affect me personally, so now it is a problem for Jamaica. Let me know if you agree or you disagree, people, because as you know on this channel, I appreciate agreement and disagreement. Thumbs up and thumbs down, because at the end of the day, people, each one teach one. You've reached the end of my video, and that in itself is a support that I truly appreciate. Other ways that you can support this channel is by giving this video a thumbs up. But the most important way to support my channel is to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any of my future uploads. The third way to support this channel is to go to my Teespring account and purchase in any of my merch. And the fourth way that you can support this channel is joining me in Patreon to give me a contribution to help me to do what I do here in YouTube. Once again, I want to thank all of you guys for checking out my video and ask that you continue to join me, Ian T. Sebastian, here on YouTube to see where my journey takes me. Until next time, peace.